Hello and welcome back to another video. Today here on the Crew 2 to test out a brand new Land Rover as well as a Jeep thing, but uh, the Land Rover Defender is what I'm interested in trying out. Now I have already gone in and bought the pack of these Volt Corp vehicles, the Ford uh, Ranger, uh, not Ford Ranger, sorry, the Ford Raptor and the Cadillac Escalade, um, which are sort of off-road enforcing units for the new part of the update. Um, so I've driven those, they're kind of cool. Um, but yeah, I won't go into too much detail on those today um, because we want to pick up this um, Land Rover Defender and Jeep something or other pack. Um, so let's get hold of it. Um, yeah, the Jeep's a bit crazy, which is kind of interesting, but the Land Rover is what I'm actually interested in. That's the V8 70th edition. I think it's one of the final edition Defenders, um, basically. Um, so that's what I'm much more excited about. We will have a quick look at the Jeep first um so yeah we'll have a quick look at that first see what it's all about um but then mainly focus on the land rover um because that is what i'm interested in uh, so these have actually been in here a few days now um i'm a little bit late trying them out but yeah wanted to give them a go um yeah here we are in our that gives you an idea what these these vehicles look like um but we will go straight into the pause menu and grab the jeep um, have a quick look at that before we start messing about with um, Land Rover. So I think that's it, the Moab quicksand concept. Where has our Defender gone? It's probably a little bit down the performance rankings there is. So yeah, we'll hop into this first. Uh, select and see what it's like. I'm assuming it's thrown us up to the... Oh no, we're at this HQ. Why are we at this HQ? Okay, I didn't realise the exhausts did that. That is... interesting. Okay, this is kind of cool, actually. Whoa. It's not all that slow, either. For, for a big off-roady vehicle. Hang on, what does the interior look like with this? Oh, this is crazy in there. Okay, I actually rather like this Jeep. Um, I thought I'd be much more interested, well, I am more interested in, in the Defender, but yeah, the Jeep is kind of cool. Right, I think we should hop in the Defender for the remainder of our journey across to the house, uh, and we'll take a quick look uh, what customization is available on the two vehicles. Uh, I think it might just be colour and stuff, but we'll see. We'll see what we can do. Here we are in the Defender. Oh, I do love these. Both got big V8s though, which is kind of fun. What's it look like in here? Yeah, very typical. Typical Land Rover. It's not quite as wild as the interior in the Jeep. And as you'd expect, it's not particularly fast. Right, shall we actually... If we can... If we can get over there. Take it properly off-road. Well, I say properly off-road, I mean drive it on the beach. Whoa, don't hit those. Get out of the way, sunbathing people. Places to go in our defender. Right. Yeah, it's not exactly fast, so I'll join you back at the house. <laughs> to see what customization we can do on the two vehicles. So here we are back at the house and we're going to start off with the Jeep before moving on to the Defender. So we've got some manufacturer colors, um, but I think the black actually looks really good. Uh, I might swap it for a matte black, that might be. Or a sort of matte gray. That looks cool, we might do that. Uh, visual parts. No, it's literally just the wheels, so we won't bother with that. What happens if we... Okay, we can have massive versions of some of the tyres. Those are kind of cool, actually. 
You probably want something off roady. So I'm not sure any of these are particularly suitable. Ah, uh, what else have we got? Nitro. Underglow. Have we got a red underglow? Interceptor beacon. That's kind of cool. Let's put that on. Yeah, not a lot of visual parts you can put on. We'll see what liveries are available, but I'm not hoping for anything brilliant. Ooh, actually. That's kind of cool with the flames. I'm not sure it's quite what I want to go with, though. That is also very cool. Can I do that and also paint it matte grey? No. Okay, we'll just leave it with that livery. That's kind of interesting. Better than not having anything on it, I think. Um, but yeah, the matte grey was quite tempting. Let's... Switch vehicle to the Land Rover and see what we can do with that. Uh, I always press the wrong buttons on this game. I don't know what I'm doing. Right. Where are you, Defender? There we go. This is what we're actually here for. Customize. I'm guessing it's the same. Yeah. And I don't really want to change those. Again, with the tyres, whatever we do is not going to work because they're not proper off-roady ones. I'm putting underglow on it, but it kind of depends on the colour we go for. I know this is like the colour they did this edition in, but I feel like a green or something would be more suitable. Nice darkness halo green. That's actually really nice. I'll see what people have come up with, but otherwise we'll go with that, I think. That's cool. That is cool. I like that. With the Union Jack on the middle there. That's kind of cool, actually. I think I like that one. Now, theoretically, we can do the colour. Oh, and it's got the red stripe on the side. Oh, yes. We go with a nice... Metallic green colour. Yes, I like that. That is cool. Okay, do we have a green underglow? No, we only have a sort of yellow. Could go with the white, I guess. Oh, I didn't even look at window tints for the, for the car. Oh, we got. I forgot we've still got roof bars on there. Just because they're new, I'm gonna put one on. <laughs> Let's just put a load of stuff on. Because this is what I want to drive actually now. The, the Jeep, I feel like we've had a look at. It's a bit of a wild machine. It's kind of interesting, but I'm always more interested in the Land Rover. That's kind of cool, because they're not actually police lights, they're like, um, interceptor lights, but, yeah, anyway, it's kind of the same thing, but they're, yeah, it can easily be not a police car, but still have the lights on, um, a little bit round, you know. I think that looks kind of cool. It's a shame they're not a little bit further forward, I'd kind of imagine them to be on the cab part. Anyway, enough driving around here. Shall we find somewhere more off-roady to drive our off-roader? Okay, so if we start at the off-road HQ, let's see where we can where we can go to. Oh yeah, we can come around here and go up the ramps. And then we can head off into the wilderness. Into the desert. See how our land rover copes. Still completely stock, I've not got any upgrades on. And I like my I do like my car's stock. Ah, I'm not sure. 
going up there, isn't it? I really put a siren on to the lights because it's a bit weird just being a normal horn with lights. Anyway. Can we climb up here? Easy. This is what this car is for. Oh, this is brilliant. I do like Land Rovers. Something a bit different to what we usually drive as well. So. A bit fun. But yeah, I do like that this is finally here. Obviously we do have the Defender in Forza. Um, we don't have the wild jeep sort of thing in Forza. Which, yeah, I actually decided I kind of liked on driving it. Didn't think I was going to think too much about it. I do still prefer the defend. Shall we have one last go in the Jeep um, as we're out here off-roading? Uh, see what it's like. I mean, I don't play this game enough to know how it compares to other rally raid machines. Um, either of them, uh, I don't have either of them upgraded either. So I don't usually do that on this game. Partly because I don't have a load of parts. Have to take something off another car, and that's just yeah. <laughs> yeah, I don't have loads of parts on here, so wouldn't know how these would stack up fully upgraded against other fully upgraded rally raid cars. But they're kind of fun, uh, and it's nice to go on here and drive them. And luckily, we had enough credits for it. Is always the problem on here because I don't play it enough to ever have money whenever anything new arrives. That I want to actually have a go. Yeah, this kind of surprised me. I do like the Jeep. Uh, a little bit faster and stuff than I was expecting. Uh, stock, obviously, as I said. Yeah. I actually quite like this. So yeah, if you haven't tried these two out already, I would recommend you do, because it's something a bit different, uh, unless you just aren't interested in off-roady stuff. Yeah, something a bit different to what we've really had before. But that probably is going to do it for a first look at the Land Rover Defender and this crazy cheap thing here on the Crew 2. Um, so that is going to be all for this video. Uh, so thank you very much for watching, and I will be back with the next video very soon.